All right, guys, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kosi. It's a very different environment, a, a, a bit behind me. You know, it's not the quality production we are used to, no microphones, no what, but at least we retain the template. We are here. I'm here to talk about Asha Fakimi, 60 million deal. Um, that is what Inter Milan won, and, and, and that's what I wanted to talk about um, in this video. Don't forget to smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well um and of course check out one expert link is in the description use promo code cosia uh cosi media uh, they will be able to give you bonuses in up to 130 dollars and of course you can win prizes with them they have an online casino i want to try out casinos so probably i could try out theirs as well but i'm i'm into match baiting and i love their odds really they have the, the best odds um you know or, you know in, in the matching in the match betting industry so make sure um you check them out so let's talk about asha fakimi just in a minute i mean arsenal probably this season we have had the right the worst right back next to bellerin and I, I cannot be happier happier or happier uh when the news came out that Hector Bellerin is going to leave the club and probably do do, do something else or, or go somewhere else. Uh, Real Betis is interested. PSG are reportedly interested in, in Bellerin as well, um, as well as Barcelona. But the question now is what? who do us to bring in and who is the right player um, for us to bring in? Way back, I think um, around 30 days ago, we were discussing Ashraf Hakimi uh, with Fabrizio Romano on the Arsenal launch and he said, um, you know, there is genuine interest in Ash, you know, in, in Akimi from us. You know, Mikel Arteta loves the player and um, and Edu also loves the player. And if you look at what Mikel wants to play, a fourth way three uh, or a three four three, they need we need a player like Akimi. You, you you need someone who's um a little bit more um progressive as a full back than than defensive. Now uh, Bellerin doesn't give us any of that. He's not so much pro of a progressive player anymore. Um, and I don't think he's more of a defensive player. I mean, he's just a mediocre, try someone trying to confuse things here and there. So, um, I've been linked with Akimi, and today Inter Milan have come out and said they need £60 million um, in Akimi. And that is, for me, that's a big blow. Um, I, I don't know whether the price going up is courtesy of uh, PSG coming in because PSG have come in and said uh, they also want to sign Hakimi and that is when Inter Milan said you know what um, you're gonna give us six you know you're gonna give us 60 million way back it was around 45 million pounds um, and I thought that was a doable deal if if, if, if if you're going for a player like Hakimi a big player with a big resource value um, 22 years of age you know I, I think it's the perfect time for him to move um, onto a, a, a club like PSG but I don't see him move to a club like Arsenal uh, at the moment, and I don't see us to make uh, around 40 million or 50 million uh, pay for Ashraf Hakimi. However, that all said, I think he would be the perfect player in, in, in terms of a right back. You, you know, he would be um, really fantastic to have a player like Ashraf Hakimi. I mean, um, it's, it's that million dollar jump from, from, from Bellerin, from Cedric. Uh, to Hakimi because you know for me he's a right back that scores goals a right back that creates millions and millions of chances you know, should I say um, and one of our problems have been that press has, has been that press um, per 90 us not having that, you know, that 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 problem to press teams you saw it against Villarreal uh, we needed one goal but our press was so poor to an extent that um, we only had two shots on goal per 90 um, and like, like I said, in, in, in the Premier League this season, we've scored almost, we've scored just 1.3 goals per 90 and conceded 1.3 uh, per 90. We've conceded uh, 39 goals and we, uh, we've scored 59. So you can see the difference is, is, is so small and the problem has been um, Arsenal's press. And whenever, in, 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 in modern football, I think um, if you do not have those qualitative fullbacks if you don't have that quality in your fullbacks your press is going to be poor look at city you know what Cancelo has been doing and and, and car walker um and liverpool what robertson gives them and, and Trent alexander arnold it's, it's so different uh from what arsenal get in in in, in their you know in our right backs for kian tini i think he's a very hard working guy and i've seen his interview um he was saying that he's not the most talented player uh, in the world, but you know he's got the hard work and, and said you know I'm I'm, I'm gonna use whatever I have, um, and that's the ability to work hard. So I think what we get in Kian Tierney is 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 you know, already unbalances 
um, you know, our side. It looks like, you know, Tiani is made from Mars and, uh, and the rest of our, um, you know, right backs uh, or full backs are made from hell. So I think Hakimi would be that, that perfect player, that guy that scores goals as a right back, that guy that creates many chances for, uh, for players like um, Pierre, Kabam, uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. I think... If, if you ask around, and if you ask me why has Aubameyang been really poor this season, um, it's had a couple of issues as, as a player, I do understand. But I think one of the other problems is the pace at which we play as a club is, you know, is, a, is a little bit dropped. And you know Aubameyang is that kind of player that really works with, you know, with, with nice pace. Um, you remember him at Dortmund? You know, you, you know, with, with Hen- Hendrik Mkhitaryan, you're always going to need to release him. Um, and I think players like Akimi do that, and we've seen you know, we've seen it when uh, um, David Lewis is on the pitch and, and, and trying to release him. He's been actually uh, what things have been working out for him. So Hakimi would be the perfect player. But if you fail to get um, Hakimi, I think the next stop, the next target, is going to be Max Aaron's. And uh, Romano said Arsenal have genuine interest in 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 in, in the player. Um, we, we could actually try to sign him. The question is, can we get both Emi Buendia? Um, and Max Aaron's from from no, it's gonna be a little bit. Uh, I mean, it could be something like a glitch. I mean, I I, I don't know whether it's you know it's, it's really possible, but it's something that I would consider. By the way, uh, go to Norwich, fetch up you know their right back, get their number ten, um, and much, much of our problems have been solved. Today I, I, I've been talking about our priority uh, targets, and I spoke about Hakimi and and, and Max Aaron's, and I think. Um, I would do Tariq Lamptey as well because the beauty with Lamptey is, um, you know, he's Premier League proven. He's been, a, you know, he's been a Premier League something that Akimi doesn't have. Of course, Akimi has defensive issues as well um, as a player. I, I wouldn't say Tariq Lamptey is a perfect, perfect, perfect package, but being the fact that he's 21 years of age, if you give him the right manager, um, he's gonna develop, you know, into that kind of right back that you think is world class because i think he has the potential to become world class the only problem is been at brighton for so you know for for so little uh, they might want to keep him for a season it's, it's very different from um Yevis bisuma because for bisuma he's been at brighton for almost two years and uh, they can let him go at the moment his contract expires in the next two years so what do you think people about ashufa kimi do you think um he is the best right back um at the moment for me in the world um he's among the top five Aaron is not yet there i think Aaron is, is among the top 10 um and, and Tariq Lamptey is among the top 15 but i would do either deal I, I mean i wouldn't become sick if you sign Tariq Lamptey i wouldn't become sick if you sign Aaron but i would be extravagantly happy if we signed um Ashraf Hakimi we would have signed a world-class player and that's what Arsenal need at the moment we need to get from this um you know pool of you know players that are really not good enough players that are average you know we have to force ourselves to love them you have to force yourself to love Cedric you have to force yourself to love uh Bellerin you know it would mean that we are actually getting in world-class talent um that would actually demand our loyalty demand our our love as uh, because we have a lot of love for um f- for our players as Arsenal fans I've been just I've, I, I just talked about Granit Xhaka in the last video and I said it's, it's really interesting for me it's intriguing how Arsenal fans are backing um, Granit Xhaka like he was the best you know uh, central midfielder center mid uh, you know in the world and, and realistically he, he's among the average lot he's among the, the, the average um, central midfielders if, if you if you give me a Trovido, I drop Xhaka if you give me um, N'Golo Conte, I drop Xhaka. If you give me Pogba or Van der Beek, I drop Xhaka. If you give me um, Thiago Alcantara or Jaden Nesson, I drop Xhaka. So he, for me, he, he's not there, but you know, the love we show him, you know, we, we buy these jerseys, these Arsenal jerseys, and, and, and that shows you the level of commitment um, and loyalty Arsenal, uh, Arsenal club gets from their fans, but we don't get anything back. But anyway, that is um, the Akimi update. Um, Inter wants 60 million. Is he worth it? Well, I think he's worth it. Um, depending on how the, the, the prices in the market have, you know, just set themselves. Mbappe, you're going to see Mbappe moving for 200 million. You're going to see Arling Haaland move for um, 150 million. You're going to see Jaden Sancho moving for 80, 70 million. Popo buys 89 million. Pepe is 72 million. Thomas Pat is 45 million. So, the prices, I think the price ceiling is 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 is, is thirty. Um, that is the ceiling, and and the, and, the, and the, uh, actually the, the price floor is thirty, um, and the price ceiling is 
infinity and that's how interesting the transfer armor uh, the transfer summer the summers and, and windows have become you know we have an infinity ceiling and um every day the price flow becomes closer and closer uh, to 100 million but anyway tell me what you think about ashraf akimi smash a like on the video and i'll speak to you in the next one